ันไม่สอนเราไม่ได้
शातिरंतरिक्ष शांति पृथ्वी शातिराप शातिषधय शाति वनस्पत शातिर्विश्वेदेवा शातिर्ब्रह्म शाति शांति 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 सामा शांति रेधि ओ शांति 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 Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, just a short message that uh, Vera lived a fulfilling life and it was devoted to his country, his children and grandchildren, as well as his friends and also importantly all of his pets. Um, nothing could get him down and uh, he moved forward through, uh, th through every situation with determination and optimism. He will be sorely missed. Um, and his legacy, his hopes, and his dreams will live on in all of us. Thank you. Today, we say goodbye to our dad, who is not just a dad to us, but to a lot of people in this room. He was a person with a very big heart, very welcoming. He'll be sorely missed. His house is going to be very empty without him. We're going to miss the Fridays after work, spending with him. And we're going to miss his words of wisdom when we need. I love you, dad. I'm going to miss you. something Words are difficult for me, so I'll let this song say it for me.
Thiral Vadilal Danji. It's always hard to say goodbye. It's even harder to say adieu. We are gathered here today to bid farewell to our friend Viral, who left his mortal body just one week ago today to soar into a new dimension. That dimension that you cannot find unless you seek it in the heart of life, to borrow from the words of Halil Gibran in the Prophet. If you would indeed behold the spirit of death, open your heart wide unto the body of life. For life and death are one, even as the river and the sea are one. Our friend Viral was a fighter, a fighter who never gave up, who never shied away from a challenge. It is thanks to that tenacity that he found the will to keep going long after his body had shown signs of lagging behind. It was that determination to live that helped him beat all the odds of a sick heart, to ling live long enough to see his two beloved boys grow into wonderful young men with their own lives and challenges. Viral was a quirky and yet wonderfully lovable person and a loyal friend. Remembering Viral is best done if you think of the saying, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. He gave to that expression a human dimension. I knew Viral from my school days, when as a painfully shy and timid 17-year-old, I crossed the street for the next leg of my education at the Seychelles College, where the all-girls Regina Mundi team would join the all-boys Seychelles College team to form the 1973-74 A-levels for a two-year period. Viral was there. He had already set out as the budding politician, already making his mark in contested elections for head boy. With a gusto and cheek that would remain his trademark his entire life, Viral canvassed the college students coming up with novel ideas like shopping discounts at his father's Victoria Center shop, where most of us bought shoes, uniforms, and stationery as part of those promises that win elections for politicians. He won, too. But democracy then was still trying to find its feet in a colony where the master remained firmly in charge. Viral's election was set aside by the powers that be and in favor of a more establishment-friendly candidate. Then off went Viral to University of Newcastle in the United Kingdom, where he studied biochemistry and physiology for three years to 1978, and our paths diverged. We would not gravitate in the same sphere until after my return to Seychelles in 1994, when I resumed work as a lawyer. Viral needed a lawyer, and the returning kid on the block was always an attraction. He was at the time running an expanding fiberglass business, operating from a spot in Plaisance, and he needed more space, and of course more foreign exchange, at a time when the commodity was running out. It was less as a company lawyer, but more as a family lawyer, that my skills would be required. With family issues coming to a head in his life, I was quickly embroiled in advising the family man of his options in the face of a souring relationship. The sudden and unannounced departure of his wife with their young son left Viral in despair. His spectacular response to this lemon would take us all by surprise. Viral traveled to the UK, took his son for a short parental visit, and disappeared for seven years. Defying all odds, he remained away until he was ready to return to Seychelles. Viral had just made the most intriguing glass of lemonade. During that time, his older son 
who was a teenager at the time, Shanti, remained behind in Seychelles, unable to join his father and missing him tremendously. We all tried our best to fill that huge gap, knowing full well we could never succeed. But after his return to Seychelles, in keeping with his character and persona, Birol picked up what remained of his business and kept going. He went into politics, but chose to do so outside the mainstream. He became the voice of the people in the courts, a firm believer that taking action and contesting was vital to bringing about change. With this philosophy tucked firmly in his belt, he would start a long string of constitutional challenges in the courts that will remain forever markers in the legal history of our beloved country. Birol decided to stand as an independent presidential candidate in the elections of 2011. In 2011, he would join a new political movement, only to see it refuse registration by the one-man electoral commissioner of the time. His answer would be to stand as an independent candidate in the May 2011 elections, presidential elections. Sorry. After the electoral commissioner had scrutinized the over 600 signatories <coughs> excuse me, who had supported his candidature, he was left with less than the required 500. He was out of play and invited to hang up his boxing gloves even before the bell was rung on the first round. Biro would take this challenge to the constitutional court accusing the electoral commissioner of violating his right to participate in elections. The Constitutional Court gave him reason. The Court of Appeal turned down that decision. Virel had just made another glass of lemonade. In 2014, he took to the Constitutional Court again to challenge the new Public Order Act of 2013, arguing that the entire act needed to be thrown out because it deprived citizens of their constitutional right to freely associate and express their opinions, and therefore failed the constitutionality test. The courts would prove him right, declaring not the entire act, but large chunks of it unconstitutional. This bold step would see the executive rewriting the act to introduce a far more user-friendly version still in force today. This lemonade had the taste of success. In 2015, he watched politics as a spectator, speaking from the sidelines. When the news broke that the opposition parties would go in alone in the first round of the 2015 presidential election, set for December that year, Birol was thrilled. He believed that an enlarged political field allowed different voices to be expressed and for people to show their discontentment by casting a protest vote. Diversity in politics was good for democracy, he said. He shared his thoughts with the local press, explaining why he believed that the opposition party should tackle the first round of the elections individually for the sake of democracy, as he said. This made it easier for no candidate to secure the 50% plus one vote required to win the first round. And by denying the candidates an outright victory in the first round, the electorate could reclaim power for the people, I quote. And I quote in his own words to the press at the time, if there's no outright winner in the first round, the people will have won. The power has to be in the hands of the people. Of course, we must elect a president, but let's not do it on the day of, let's do it on the day of our choosing. Some people are lobbying for an, for an alliance, but the president has to be elected in the second round, he said, unquote. That particular glass of lemonade would take on a particularly exciting flavor when in December 2015, the elections went into the second round. The electorate was asked to split the vote, and they did, by a mere 193 votes. I could go on with stories of many more of those glasses of lemonade, and maybe I should at another time and another forum. But for now, I want to, to say thank you to Viral for showing us the way. Civil society and we the people 
will hold on to the memory of your trailblazing with love, gratitude, and affection. I know that in that new dimension into which you have moved, the downtrodden and the helpless will find a new friend in you. Wherever you are, I know there will be new fights to fight and new stories to write. There will be more glasses of lemonade to be made as the lemons will keep coming. I am honored to have traveled a small part of your life's journey with you as a friend. Thank you, Virel. For what is it to die but to stand naked in the wind and to melt into the sun? And what is it to cease breathing but to free the breath from its restless tides that it may rise and expand and seek God unencumbered? Only when you drink from the river of silence shall you indeed sing. And when you have reached the mountain top, then you shall begin to climb. And when the earth shall claim your limbs, then shall you truly dance. Godspeed, my friend. May you find new fights and write new stories as you saw. If there's anyone from any other faiths that would like to say a prayer, this is the time. And then we will say thank you to the people that are here. It's a little prayer from the friend, the evening friend, the afternoon friend, the after work friend. Today our friend passed. We can't believe our eyes. It seems like the world has ended. Today our friend died. Still remember the face and the sweet smile. Keep splashing in front of our eyes. Today our friend will be gone, our first and last best friend. He was not waiting for this day, as he had not shown us of same. Today, our friend will go forever, the friend who cared about us, the friend who solved our problem, the friend who always fought with life. Today, our friend will not be around and thinking, will there be problem with no solution? Today, we all here hoping, will he be around keeping us all happy? Today, we are bidding him goodbye. He has stepped into our life as a spirit of ours. We cannot express how important he was to us. Today, our friend will be gone for good. 
we recall the memories with him and cry. Goodbye, our friend. Adieu, Ami. Nous pouvons beaucoup viral. Merci. Thank you all for coming today. We are here to honor a very special person. He's my brother. No matter how much time we had to prepare for this day, we still don't feel ready to say goodbye. I can never deny the pain that I carry. But I would like us to remember Viral as a blessing and a lesson. I want to treasure the life he shared with us over the pain that his death has brought us. Rest in eternal peace, dear brother. You will live on forever in our heart. Just going to read out a few messages from other family members. Um, from Auntie Serene, Viral, you were a wonderful brother in law and a good friend, kind and compassionate, who I could relate to totally. An amazing person who put others before yourself. I thank you for the continued help and support I got from you during my hospitalization, rehabilitation, and after, without which I would have been lost. You were a pillar of strength for me. Although you are not physically with us, you will forever remain in our hearts. I will miss you a lot. Thank you for being you. May your soul rest in peace. Um, from Tina. Tonton was such a kind, warm, and a nice person. I will miss you very much. Loved how you still kept in touch from Seychelles with Messenger and WhatsApp. May you rest in peace. And when you see your brother, my dad, in heaven, tell him, I love him. From Neville, I remember Tonton V as one of the most generous people I have ever known. I have fond memories of you growing up. You gave me a boat for my fifth birthday, not a toy boat, but a real boat. Coolest gift from my coolest uncle. Tonton V, you are larger than life. I will miss your laughter and your wisdom. I will miss the junk you would forward me on WhatsApp. I will also miss the junk that you stored at the Denji property that I used to play with when I was a kid. 
from pieces of fiberglass to old car parts and machinery, they were my treasure. I will treasure all the moments. Thanks for helping my mom recover from her injury, and thanks for helping my dad come up with a name for his business. Thanks for making every picnic so much fun when I was growing up. Thanks for so much more. This room cannot hold all of my memories. Tante V, I will not cry because you're gone. I will smile because I was blessed to have you as my family. Forever and for always, Neville. Now, anybody from the friends, colleague, work colleague would like to say something in memory of Vera? Please come up. Please. Our God and Creator, we offer you the life of Viral. I've had the chance to know him when we opened Car Centre d'Accueil de la Rosière in 2008, I, I think. And he was one of the members on the council. And we worked together. He gave himself totally to this group, helping the drug addicts, coming to all our meetings and we have been always in contact up to recently. I was surprised. It was painful for me to hear that he left us. So now that it is in the hands of our Creator, we ask you, Lord, to bless him, bless his children, bless his family. You know yourself that Viral has had always a great heart to serve others. Others were first for him. We put everything, Lord, into your hands, and we know that he will receive a big gift from you. We believe that he is still alive with you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Viral, a great friend of all of ours. We met almost once or twice a week over the last 20 years. He was really like a friend and a great father because I lost my father when I was in hospital and I didn't get the chance to see my father go. And Viral means a lot to me. And uh, I was always there whenever I could for him. 
and I hope he has a good passing and that the sons and all the family are blessed. We all loved him very much. Cyril is not a friend to me. Cyril is a big brother. Many of us knew Cyril as a fighter, a patriot, fearless, courageous, always standing for what is right. But Cyril had something deeper. Viral stood for empathy. Viral stood for love. I've never met a most gentle soul as Viral in my life. And for Viral to go, it leaves a big hole in my life. I joke off again. Till we meet again, the other side. Chattari Mangalam Chattari Mangalam Arihanta Mangalam Arihanta Mangalam Siddha Mangalam
चारी मंगल Here I'm going to read a very brief message from both of my son, who is not around here today. They have a short message for you, Vero. Uh, it says, it is sad to hear that you decided to take off. It is sad to think, it's unimaginable to think that when we are back, we won't be seeing you again. No words can describe the loss that we feel for uncle's days. Our heartfelt condolences go to Shanti and Milan. We understand this is a tough time for you too. We hope God gives you strength to carry on your life without dad. We are going to miss you, Uncle Vero. Well, we used to call you Tonton V. Goodbye for now. You're gone physically, but you live around in our life. You live in our heart, in our memory. We will not forget you ever. Wish you a good farewell, Tonton V. Bye. Thank you for coming, everyone. Your words, your support, your calls, your messages over the last week has been comforting, um, at times painful. Um, I have to say thank you for all the support from the boys at the round table and everyone else around who has been there to support me. Of late, I've had two pillars by my side. I've had my big brother, Derek, who's always been with me. And every time dad was sick or something was out, we had Divya that was around. Lenny was just a phone call away. He was always there. I've had some amazing people to help me, and they're here with me to say goodbye. So everyone that's been there for dad in these last few months, I want to say a very big thank you. It's made his last bit of time with us, a lot more comfortable. A lot of people did a lot of things. Some brought food, some brought comfort, some just came to spend some time. So everyone, thank you. We're going to now move across and start the, the process for the final goodbye. If anyone wants to pay their last respects, um, you can please come forward now to see him. Thank you.
दृष्टि प्रभु दर्शन करे ते दृष्टि ने पण धन्य छे जे जीव जिन भर ने मातंग बगियू मोटरू अनक्रोडू होए क्रेकान मातंग बगियू मोटरू अनक्रोडू होए क्रेकान पण आखरना प्रियां इतो छे पगपाला शंकरा पण आखरना प्रियां इतो छे पगपाला शंकरा हे नाथ जोड़ी हाथ पाए प्रेम थी सोलागी शरणु मले साचू तमारु
nittam mantrapade hi shante swam om niti nishchit vachase namo namo bhagavate hate pooja shanti jinaya jayavate yashasvini swami nidamina sakalatishesat maha sampatti samanvitaya shashya trailokya poojitaya cha namo namaha shanti devaya sarva manasu samuha swamikam sampujitaya nijitaya bhuvana jana pandanodhyata tamaya satatam namastasmai सर्वदुरीतौघनाशन कराय सर्वाशिव प्रशमनाय दुष्टग्रह भूत पिशा चाकेनाय ये नाम मंत्र प्रधान वाक्योपयोग कृतोषा विजया कुरुते जनहित नीति चलुतानमतम शांति नमस्ते भगवती विजय सुजय परा पर रजिते अपराजिते जगत्या जयती जयावे भवती भद्रकल्याण मंगल प्रददे साधूना सदा शिव सुदुष्टिपुष्टि प्रदेजिया सिद्धे निवृत्ति निर्वाण जननी सत्वा अभय प्रदान निरते नमोस्तु स्वस्ति प्रदेतुभ्यं भक्ता जंतुना शुभावहे नित्य मुद्यते देवी सम्यक दृष्टि नाम धृति प्रतिमती बुद्धि प्रदानाय जिन शासन निरता शांति जगति जनता श्री संपत्ति यशो वर्धिनी जय देवी विजय स्व सलीला नल विश विशर दुष्ट ग्रह राज रोग रण भयत राक्षस रिपुगण मारी चौरीति श्वापदा दिभ्य अथ रक्ष रक्षसु शिव कुरु कुरु शांति कुरु कुरु सदेति तुष्टि कुरु कुरु पुष्टि कुरु कुरु स्वस्ति कुरु कुरु तम भगवते गुणवते शिव शांति तुष्टि पुष्टि स्वस्ति कुरु कुरु जना ओम नमो नमो राम रीं रूम रह यहां फुट फुट स्वाहाक्षरपुर संस्तुता जया देवी कुरुते शांति नमता नमो नम शांते तस्म पूर्वसुरीदर्शित मंत्रपद विदर्भित तव शांति सरिदी भय विनाशी शांतिक भक्तिमता यम पठती सदा शृणोति भावयती वा यथा योग्यम 